Hello, Michael here to talk cannabis again. Today we'll cover a more niche topic within the industry, micro businesses. State regulations and licensing for cannabis businesses continue to develop as more and more states pass legislation legalizing marijuana products. Each state has their own concerns from their legislators and constituents regarding how to implement their marijuana programs. For many states, this regulation includes ensuring that there are equal opportunities and broad social equity for cannabis entrepreneurs. One of the ways that states have attempted to provide increased opportunities for small businesses is through micro business licensing. While many states have added micro business provisions to their cannabis related legislation, only a few have actually issued micro business licenses to dispensary businesses. Still, the micro business category is likely to evolve and expand as more states and more businesses pop up across the country. In this video, we'll look at the current state of cannabis retail micro businesses and give you an idea of if it's a good fit for you. start by defining a cannabis micro business. Broadly speaking, cannabis micro businesses are smaller scale operations with fewer employees and or smaller grow operations with fewer plants. Many states require micro business owners and applicants to be residents of the state. Additionally, for the most part, cannabis micro businesses effectively operate as vertically integrated craft cultivators meaning they sell only what they themselves grow and process. But what's in it for the states that are implementing these programs? There are several reasons that states choose to include micro business provisions within their regulation. Providing avenues for smaller scale local entrepreneurs is the main goal. Along with this comes a more equitable distribution of ownership. One major benefit is that it strongly benefits local production. For many of these micro operators, the whole process from seed to sale will be done in-house and on-site. As with any industry, smaller scale production and enhanced community connections can lead to a higher quality product and experience. In this regard, marijuana micro businesses have to potentially focus their market as a local craft. States also hope that micro business licensing will lead to the growth of a niche artisanal industry similar to microbreweries and local wineries, thereby strengthening the revenue of smaller municipalities. Micro business licenses are for smaller operations and thus discourage multi state operators. Many states also require that both the owner and employees of micro businesses are local. This includes all grow facilities and manufacturing workplaces, thereby serving as a bulwark against corporate multi state operators. In turn, this ensures that the whole enterprise more directly benefits the community. Micro business approval often comes with reduced application and licensing fees and therefore increases opportunities. This means that there's a much lower barrier to entry for entrepreneurs to get into the cannabis industry. Lower fees in conjunction with social equity programs have great potential to increase the diversity of marijuana business owners and more equally distribute opportunities. Now you might be wondering, does my state offer the micro business route? As of 2022, only three out of the 19 legal recreational states have actually issued significant micro business licenses. Let's briefly go over these three states in a bit more detail. In California, cannabis micro businesses are required to be vertically integrated. To apply for a license, they must intend to operate at least three of the following types of marijuana activities. One, a retailer, two, non-storefront cultivation, and three, distributor transport only. California limits the growth space to 10,000 square feet of cultivation. Micro Micro businesses in the Golden State are made to be hybrid on-site grow and sell operations similar to wineries or breweries. Better yet, you can actually allow your clientele to consume on-site. In the future, California could even add provisions to allow local growers to add Appalachian-style certification to their cannabis labels. Through their program, California hopes to help foster environments for micro businesses that are self-sustainable. Evidently, the endeavor is working somewhat successfully. There are now over 300 licensed micro businesses in operation in the state. Michigan follows the one location setup for cannabis micro businesses similar to California. There are actually two different types of micro business licenses in Michigan the original marijuana micro business license and the Class A micro business license. The first and older marijuana micro business license allows businesses to cultivate not more than 150 plants, process and package marijuana in house, sell or transfer cannabis to individuals 21 or over and complete all compliance testing at a third party facility. As you can see, the grow limit is very, fairly small compared to large scale operations. Hence, the licensing fees for this category are only $8,300 per year. This older license limits you to selling goods that were entirely grown and processed and produced on site. At this time, there are only a couple businesses that operate under this license, which are geared towards super niche localized artisanal organic products. The Class A micro business license, on the other hand, allows for up to 300 
300 plants and lets business owners sell cannabis concentrate and infused products. This gives Class A micro business owners plenty of leeway with what kind of retail business they can operate, especially considering that they can supplement their storefronts with tinctures, edibles, and vape cartridges from other producers. As far as licensing fees for Class A, Michigan charges initial and yearly fees of $18,600. While it's significantly more than the original license fee for micro businesses, it allows for double the cultivation size and increased merchandise diversification. Finally, Massachusetts differs from California and Michigan in that it does not allow retail storefronts to operate under a micro business license. However, it does allow and even encourages micro business cultivators to perform legal delivery services of their recreational marijuana. Actually, social equity and economic empowerment priority candidates will be the only ones eligible for on-site consumption or delivery licenses for the first 24 months of implementing their micro business program. Candidates for Massachusetts micro businesses must be state residents for at least a year prior to applying. In addition, micro business product manufacturers are limited to purchasing up to 2,000 pounds of wholesale marijuana per year, and cultivators are limited to 5,000 square feet of cultivation. Massachusetts micro business candidates are required to pay $1,000 for an application fee with licensing fees reduced to 50% typical charges. As of now, there are only five licensed microbusinesses in Massachusetts, but a significant increase is likely in the next couple of years. Many other states that have legal marijuana have passed laws and provisions that initiate the implementation of microbusiness programs. These states include Connecticut, Illinois, New Mexico, New Jersey, Vermont, and Virginia. An increase of microbusiness licenses is surely on the horizon as these newly legalized states continue to roll out their recreational cannabis programs and issue licenses to new applicants. New Jersey, for instance, is on the verge of issuing micro business licenses to candidates. Their licensing is quite different in that it allows for a specific retail category for micro businesses, not requiring vertical integration. New Jersey rules stipulate that owners must be New Jersey residents for two years. Additionally, there are several other rules that dispensaries must follow in New Jersey, including employing no more than 10 people, operating at an establishment of no more than 2,500 square feet, and acquiring no more than 1,000 pounds of marijuana per month for retail sale. Fortunately for entrepreneurs, the retail license fee is is only $1,000 for a micro business retailer applicant, as opposed to the $10,000 fee for regular cannabis retailer licenses. Thus, New Jersey offers a distinct opportunity for a true mini dispensary that has the potential to open doors for entrepreneurs without corporate capital. While New York hasn't released much information on their website, it appears as though their programs will require vertical integration as well. New Mexico and Connecticut currently only offer micro business licenses for cultivators, not retailers. In fact, New Mexico just recently set up a $5 million public fund to help micro businesses acquire loans at competitive interest rates. How these states execute such programs in conjunction with social equity in mind will be substantially influential to the future of the cannabis industry. If you got approved for a cannabis micro business and need a POS system, let us know. With our extremely competitive pricing and hands-on approach to customer service, Corona POS is the perfect dispensary point of sale for anyone from smaller scale cannabis retail operations to multi-state dispensaries. We integrate with all major marijuana software technology apps and deliver actionable inventory analysis and customer insights to help your sales reach their full potential. Reach out to our team today to learn more about why our dispensary software and e-commerce platform is the best in the game. Thanks for watching today and don't forget to subscribe to our blog and channel.